welcome back to my channel. It's me, Tessa, or Tessa.ma on Instagram. Make sure you're following me on Instagram if you want to know everything first. So today, I'm coming back with what I promised you guys, which is part three of my Instagram 2020 series. I was going to lead it up with how I made my first $300 on Instagram, um, but I've been getting so many questions about going a little bit more in depth with part two. Based off of these questions, I went ahead and wrote down so I wouldn't forget anything. All the points I want to hit for you guys, which is, should you still be an influencer on Instagram in 2020? So, the simple answer is yes. Yes, you should be an influencer. You should always try to be anything that you want to be. So if you're thinking about it, just do it. You don't have to think about it that hard. I don't think anyone who really does it did. Basically, how to grow your Instagram. A lot of people tell me, like, where do you start? Um, and my major tip before you start anything of this sorts is find your purpose or find your craft. It's going to make the beginning process and everything later on so much easier if you do this. Find the thing that you like to do the craft or skill that you think you do very well and you want to share with the world and you think that the world will appreciate. If you're having a little trouble with thinking about this, what I normally recommend is what do you like to do? If you like to play the drums, if you like to cook, if you like to talk about uh, your transformation of becoming vegan, if you want to talk about things that happen to you in your life, maybe you have a very crazy life, in blogging or you want to begin um, showing your OOTDs off. Or the first thing that you want to do on your Instagram page is clean it up and do you. Right now, your Instagram page does not resemble or does not represent things that you stand for, things that you like. Then cut it out. Just take it off completely and just start. So don't, try not to dwell too much on little things, especially in this stuff. Um, because honestly, the only thing that stops you from doing a lot of stuff usually is your own self. Make yourself a vision board, it's 2020, happy new year's you guys, and see how close your page is to becoming that vision board. Um, as you're going throughout the year, try to make that vision board your Instagram page, and not because you're just posting things, but because you're actually doing them, and you're actually getting that stuff done, and you're actually sharing it with the world. It's because you can genuinely see, and everyone will be able to genuinely see your growth, your beauty, your ideas, your adventures, and so on. Tip number two also is take your profile off of a private. That's, that's another tip. So once you've decided your craft or your purpose or your service that you want to start offering to people, now start thinking about ways to visually brand it. Represent that. And what I mean by that is let's say you do like um, cooking or you want to talk about your vegan transformation. What you want to do is start thinking, okay, well, I should probably start showing them some foods that I eat, right? Thing like a picture. So I'll make sure it's aesthetically pleasing, something that I like. So now that you do that, you'll start getting in the habit of doing that. And as you do that, it becomes easier and easier to start doing this and implementing it into your life. And it not becoming so much of a chore or a job, but more so just a habit and it's fine. You know what I mean? Obviously nothing excessive. You don't want to be that crazy lady. You know what? Put, put a little bit of thought. Once you know you guys know what you're doing. You guys know what you do. You guys don't know how to make things cute. Now you gotta make sure you come up with your name. Really, it could literally be your actual name. Your username. That's fine. And this might seem odd, but yeah. Literally start claiming it on other platforms. So don't think small. Don't think it's only supposed to be on Instagram. Go make a Flickr and make use that same username on Flickr. Go make a YouTube. Use that same username on YouTube. Go on to Twitter. Use that same username on Twitter. Even if it requires you to make a new account, your name might be already taken. It's, a, it's just a part of the game. Oddly enough, people actually uh, bid off and uh, trade off and domains and names and stuff like that. So let's say you did all that. You already have your name. You have a... Not only that... See if you can find a new platform. See if you can find something that already exists that is specific to what you like to do. For example, if you're a fashionista, see if there's a new app out or there's some type of website where you're able to do fashion blogs of some kind, but it's a new platform that's not yet super populated. It allows you to create a fan base on a platform that, like I said, is not overpopulated. Yeah, so the last thing you want to do is, so you might not be an extroverted person, you might not be someone who's really in people's faces or talks to people. But Everybody has some type of experience in some way. Learn your way or your motto of what you want to adapt when you present yourself to people. Um, if I'm a photographer and I'm a fashionista of some sort, I need to think of a way of how I can kind of incorporate that in almost all my conversations. <laughs> it sounds weird, but really it's pretty common. You'll see it's a lot easier to do in real life. People tend to ask you basic questions anyways about you just knowing 
and being confident about what you do. Um, I actually help a lot of companies and myself promote, market, brand, um, basically get a full around for your brand. And I do this for myself as well as other people. Easy as that. So that's an example. However, it could be message wise. So this could be a, a message that you type up on your notes. Just have that message, have that motto, have that script in your head. Most important part of this entire series, if you get one thing from anything that I've said, be consistent, stay consistent, keep at it. Do not get discouraged because you're not getting results right away. Everything is built, nothing is overnight. Keep it fun, keep it light. Make everything that you envision into real life and do that creatively however you like, whether it's with poems, whether it's with music, whether it's with fashion design, YouTube videos, whatever it is, just do that a lot of time. There's a lot of times for everything. Obviously, there's your regular life. There's networking, which is what I just said. The way you do this on Instagram is DM people, search up locations, find new people, doing things that you like to do too. Things that you can see probably lead to what you like to do. So if you like la eyelashes, search up other people who like eyelashes. Go under the hashtags of eyelashes and look for all those girls posting. Talk to them, be nice, be friendly, and you'll see that you'll get a lot of results right away. Talk to people, learn new skills, um, meet new people, uh, ask them questions. Nobody is gonna knock you for your hustle. Nobody's gonna knock you for anything that you're doing. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you're commenting, liking, subscribing, following us on Instagram, buying our merch, and pre-save the new single dropping this month in January, Bad Man, on iTunes. Pre-order it, pre-save it, search up Super Bigger on Spotify, and make sure you're streaming. Stay tuned for part four of the video. I have a lot of more to ask for y'all. Y'all know! Bye.